All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus show. I am One Bar, and the Vikings did it again. They have signed yet another cornerback, a cornerback that this time I am actually mildly familiar with, a cornerback I've actually heard of. Uh, the last couple, you know, not so much. Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the One Bar and Lepagus show, like the videos. We are here every damn day talking Minnesota Vikings. Um, yes, so Cordray Tankersley, former 2017 third-round draft pick by the Miami Dolphins uh, out of Clemson. Had a very, very good college career at Clemson. Started his junior year all games. Started his senior year all games um, with some All-American all lists. Uh, very, very decorated college career. When he came into the NFL draft, he was looked at as a guy that could go anywhere from round two to round four. I remember this guy being in early, not early, in uh, in the first round of some mock drafts. Yeah, they were probably horseshit mock drafts, but he was in there. So he was definitely a big name. Um, let's get to know him a little bit. He's six foot one, 200 pounds, good size, good length, good speed. Um, looking at his 40-yard dash, looking at his combine numbers, he ran a 4'4", four, four, um, uh, just Pretty, pretty damn good athlete. Uh, so the Miami Dolphins end up drafting him in round three. Miami Dolphins fans, very excited. I remember uh, he was considered a little bit of a steal when he went in round three. Um, more so just the experience going against that top talent. His size got a lot of people excited. Um, he actually came in as a rookie for the Dolphins. Started 11 games, um, which is saying something. Uh, started 11 games for the Miami Dolphins. As a rookie, his career stats, 36 tackles, seven passes, defense, and that's about it. So he starts his his rookie year. Um, everything you look at, it seems it was kind of up and down, pretty much played like a rookie. Nothing great, nothing overly horrible. Um, next year, he came back in 2018, played uh, played the first seven or eight games, ended up tearing his ACL. So he was donezo for the year for 2018. 2019, again, injuries. Um, so that's pretty much it. When I look up what he was doing in preseason, his final years with the Dolphins, it sounds like he was getting kind of torched left and right. Um, so that's not overly great, but look, he's a guy coming in. He is actually a little bit older, um, than I thought he's going to be 27 in November. He's going to the Vikings practice squad. The Miami Dolphins just released him. He's bounced around a little bit. Um, so you know, we'll, we'll see. And by bounce around, I mean, he bounced around from their practice squad to active roster and so on. So uh, Tankersley, it's it's definitely worth a flyer. His size, uh, his, his, his college um, profiles and draft profiles, everyone talks up how much this guy was fantastic against tight ends. Uh, so maybe that's our, maybe that's our th angle with him because we haven't been able to play very good against tight ends. Um, so maybe, maybe he's our guy. So Tankersley comes in. Again, the size is enough to get a little bit of intrigue. Um, his experience, while it is limited, he did get those games in as a rookie. Um, anybody who remembers watching him at Clemson, he was damn good. So we'll see what happens. Um, he's coming to the right spot. He's coming to the cornerback whisper. His, uh, his career was just definitely derailed by injuries, not giving him a pass whatsoever, but that had a big big deal with uh, his last couple of years, not really doing Jack. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Um, I think right now with our depleted secondary of injuries, he, uh, he could possibly his time on the practice squad could be, could be short. Um, I wouldn't be surprised one damn bit. If, if he plays well in practice, if they bring him up, why not? I mean, look at the, some of the other guys we got out there and uh, look at all the injuries we are dealing with, but Tankersley is officially a Minnesota Viking. I believe I saw he was wearing number 49 uh which is a little odd for a cornerback but damn it welcome to the squad and we'll see what tankersley has to offer when they chuck him in that beautiful shade of purple <laughs> 